So boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed my favorite childhood book, Harold and the Purple Crayon. And Harold, even though he drew a very long line, it was not one continuous line, which is what you are going to be doing today. You're gonna be starting in the corner of your paper and you are going to start to draw a line. It's gonna take you a while and that's okay because sometimes it's fun to just relax and try to challenge yourself to draw a super long line. I'm gonna have some nice relaxing music for you and you can just plug along. Now I'm going to have some idea sheets out for you where I will try to inspire you all the different types of lines that are available and it would be fun if you even made up some of your own. Now I'm not gonna lie, I did this myself and you kind of get started going and then after a while you get a little tired. I found that by rotating my paper every once in a while kind of helped me keep going. I also noticed that there would be a type of line that when I drew it, I'd be like, oh, thank goodness, this is going a little faster. And then after a while, I'd switch to another one and that one would feel faster. Here's what I don't want. A big scribble going all over the place. I also don't want for you to start and to start to make these little lines and then to be like, oh, I'm gonna get huge. No, no, no. You're just gonna take your time and draw your beautiful line. You're gonna like it at the end. So like I said, I kept rotating. I would do loopy and then I would start to do my crenellation one and then I do my coral one and then bouncy and then loopy. When you're finished, you are gonna go back to the stencil um, table and you're gonna choose a shape that you like. You're going to be choosing one shape at a time. So for me, I decided I was gonna choose this diamond. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a fatter Sharpie and you are going to trace the inside of that stencil. You're gonna trace it real careful. If you need help, we can help you, but you're gonna to wanna to hold that thing down really well so that you can get that nice line. And then here's where it's gonna hurt your brain. You're not gonna color outside of that line. You're only gonna color inside. And you're gonna choose whether you wanna use warm colors or cool colors. This is an example of someone that chose cool colors. This person decided to just go with all pinks and purples. And then here's an example of someone who chose warm colors. So if we go back to my, tri my diamond, I decided that I was gonna use cool colors. And so I'm gonna, man, you gotta think hard to not go outside that big shape. I decided to start to color inside of these lines. And this is another time where you're gonna find that we just want this to be relaxing, a nice calm project for you to do you're gonna find that coloring in those lines just kind of gives you time to think about things and to plan and to figure out where you're gonna go next. So once you've got that done, you've got all those cool color bins in there so that you can keep choosing different color greens, different color purples, different color blues that I have there for you. Now, it could very well be that every once in a while, you're gonna find that one of your colored pencils is dull, unacceptable, very sad. We don't want that to happen. So as you're going through, if you happen to find that your colored pencil is dull, we have a cup for you, and in that cup is a pencil sharpener. If you put it in there and then you kind of push while you turn, you're going to get this very satisfying ribbon with some shavings. You're gonna tap it into the cup because we don't want those shavings going everywhere. It just makes a big, giant mess. I know it's kind of fun to plug away at sharpening your pencils, so that's kind of like a treat for you that every time you switch colors, you can sharpen it just a little bit as you color. So as I finish up this one, I'm starting to feel pretty excited about this and I'm gonna to start to plan what I'm gonna do next. 
When you're finished, you'll take your cool color bin and put it in the back by the stencils. And now you're going to choose another stencil. I could go ahead and be like, oh, all of my shapes are gonna be diamonds. Or I could say, oh, I think I'll try out a different shape. In this case, I decided to do the star. So once again, I'm gonna hold down my stencil really well. I'm gonna take out that Sharpie. And again, if you want someone to help you, we can do that. And uh, then you can decide, are you gonna do cool colors again? Are you just gonna do different shades of green? In this case, I decided to move over to my warm colors. This is kind of the idea of what we'll be looking for at the end. I'm gonna leave this picture of these lines up for a little bit, and then you can go ahead and start. Have fun.